how's it going thanks for joining me again today we are going to uh, take this medium-sized rototiller I've got a, a big one for the tractor and got this one and then we also got a, a little baby handheld one that's really good for the garden but anyway um, this is really chunky right in here this would be hard for me to uh, to rake back into this so I want to chop that up also I brought in this uh, this pipe here and I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes through it and I'm gonna lay it in here I'm gonna lay it in here to where it will flow all the way down through here and come out down there uh, I think that will help out tremendously what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the pipe in and then I'll put gravel over the top of it that way the water can go through the top layer of soil go th and go through you know the uh, gravel and then you'll be able to the water go into the pipe and then out down through here um, the reason why I want it to come out down through here is because the lay of the land is kind of weird um, but it actually flows that way but once it gets down here it goes down down that way um, the way we had this built we kind of had to make it that way it was going off right off the side of this and it was even even cutting into the back side of this, and that's uh, not good. Like right here, if you look, I need to bring in soil and fill that back in, because that's washout, because the rain wanted to uh, take the water down that way. So I had to build it up, right there where Odin is, and that way the water comes from up top, and it comes down through here, and it just flows down that way and goes there and some of it goes down the side of that hill there but uh that's kind of the way i wanted it to flow so anyway so the water's going to come from down here it's going to soak up into the pipe and then it's going to run its way down through here and go back down that way so that's the way it has to be um so i'm going to get started and i'll fill you in here in a minute all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this paddle bit and I'm gonna make holes all the way down here and then I'll also come on the side over here and make holes all the way down that way and probably make holes on that way but I'm not gonna make any on the bottom because I want the water to be able to flow through this I'm gonna do that all the way down through there it's kind of a long one but that's what I'm gonna do so uh, I'm gonna get that done and then we'll uh, be installing it and uh, I'll get back with you in a second all right so as you can see i've pretty much you know i've got all the the holes drilled in this thing so that's ready to go but what i need to do is go ahead and break this up with the roto tiller here and uh start filling some of this in i'm gonna have to use my my uh tamping tool right here to kind of help out and uh get deep in there i don't know if you can see you see how you, you can't have those voids like that. That's what happened. There was, I mean, even though I didn't have voids like this, I, there were some small voids in this. And when the water came in, it just, it filled those voids and it added so much weight with the mud and the water that it just, it just pulled this thing over. So, what I need to do is fill those voids and then uh, start filling a little bit of this in so I can make a nice, a smooth contoured spot for this pipe to go in and then I'll put you know the gravel on top of it and put a little bit more uh, soil on top of the gravel and then uh, smooth it all out and seed it and make it look pretty so anyway that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get to it right now
Now, believe it or not, that should do it. Just break it up enough to where I can break it. I can always hit it again here shortly, but that's enough, so on to the next project. Alright, I got the soil tap down now uh, I can place. So I'm gonna go get some gravel, put over the top of this, and I'll be back in just a second. Well, I'm uh, laying down some gravel, luckily for me. I've got you know a bunch of gravel just laying around, so uh, I'm able to put this in. So just covering it with gravel, that way uh, dirt and debris doesn't go through the holes. Now there'll be some, but you know, we'll cut back the biggest just of it. So got a little bit more to go and I cover it up. Just like down there, cover it up with soil. I'm gonna take the rototiller through this quite a few times and help make it a uh, smoother, you know, contour down through here. So the water roll, rolls off gently. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty steep over here, pretty tall up here. I wanna kind of make this a little bit smoother, a little nicer, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get back at it. And there it is. All right. So the only thing I got left to do now, and then we'll take the power washer and I'll power wash this. I don't know if you can see it because of the, the uh, shade. Uh, it's really dirty. So I'm just gonna lightly power wash all the dirt off of it and stuff. And at the same time, we'll be watering the grass seed that I just put down. So. Uh, I will uh, turn you back on when I'm done, and that will be the end of the redo of the retaining wall. So I'll be back with you in just a second.
all right finished project so here it is in its final stage now i just gotta let the grass grow i've already gotten everything all nice and wet the grass seed is already sown and soaking in the water so we are good to go it's been uh been a lot of work but uh i'm glad it's done and i'm thankful that you got to see me do it so hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video